Gavin Chait from a company called Whitehawk and uh, my company specializes in open data consulting all over the world. At the beginning of the year, end of last year, I started doing FOI requests to every single local authority and asking them, please provide me with a complete list of all of the, the commercial properties as well as the vacancies. So let me know exactly which ones are empty and which ones are not. One of my things is just, you know, I, having a particular interest in entrepreneurship is that um, I find it cripplingly painful and, and, and horrible when I see someone sitting in an empty shop and suffering. Um, and they should never have been there in the first place. So the objective is to make the same sort of intelligence that big businesses use, um, make it available free of charge um, via intermediaries uh, like Zoopla to any person starting a small business. Without FOI, there was no mechanism to approach uh, local authorities to request the data and no legal mechanism for me to be able to have some authority as someone who has, now I've got no pull with any local authority and I've got no um, you know, uh, sort of commercial reason, uh, or should I say no um, legal reason to simply go in there and say, hey, you know, give me all your data without FOI. As a novice, without any idea of how FOI works and of what the process is, the platform is tremendous. I mean, it's, it's just it's kind of step by step, you start here, um, and at the beginning, I mean, I, I feel like a pro now because I've, I've done, you know, 350 requests. I think I've done uh, a fair number that have gone right through the entire process, including the various legal steps. Um, but at the time, I had no idea what I was doing. And to have something that already has the complete database of everybody you need to contact, already has a very structured way of simply doing it, as well as recommendations of how to structure your request is really, really helpful. Um, and the team are incredibly responsive and so when I had a query of is this normal I just got this response and it doesn't make any sense to me and have someone go oh yeah yeah they like that um, it's great I, I ran a, a, a non-profit uh, organization for 10 years doing small business consulting and um, my experience is that small businesses do not pay for intelligence they prefer to just kind of wing it you know they, they put down their deposit they take a five-year lease and off they go um, and sometimes they discover after they're stuck in a five-year lease that this is a really terrible area for their type of business. The idea is that with time we build a sufficiently strong database of information that is available to, to business startups so that we can reduce that, um, that business risk and businesses can gain additional insight in advance of any problems turning up. During the discovery process, when you're looking for rentals, when you're looking for a new factory, or you're looking for a new office space or a new retail space, you flip over the card for the empty property and on the back you basically see, right, you'll need to hire this number of staff, your rental is likely to be this, your rates are likely to be this, and this is what you're going to earn. And we, looking at this, either recommend or don't recommend this site for, for, for tenants. And that's kind of the, the long-term objective. One thing we don't know, or didn't know at the time, was which of the properties are empty and which of the properties are actively trading as businesses. Um, and as much as we hear about the empty high streets problem and there's a lot of research in that area, there's no comprehensive open data database of property activity. You can get, if you have deep pockets, if you're one of the big chains or one of the big um, uh, companies, international firms, they spend millions of dollars a year buying uh, business intelligence, buying information on uh, property availabilities. So we're specifically requesting empty commercial property information. Um, you'll hear numbers in, in the media and in, in the press about 10% you know, of properties, 5% of properties, 25% of properties could be vacant in a particular local authority, but there's no data on that. Most local authorities do not publish this data. Um, so quite a few, you know, I think I, think I, I, I basically spent, I think, a, a month just looking through every single um, local authority's website to try and assess, uh, to give you a sense of scale, there are 350 local authorities um, in England and Wales. And um, I looked at each of them to see whether they're really published, and if so, what, what do they publish? Do they publish the right information? I think there's only like five to eight percent of them already publish um, this type of commercial property data. Even though most recognize this is one of their more popular requests 